Hey there, it's Sam. Uh, sorry about not uploading for Tuesday. I was uh, actually home. Like, I got home from uh, my first concert slash festival experience around 11 or so. And I thought I could slap something together the day after Warp Tour, but I was like, no, I'm fucking dead. I just want to sleep. And I slept before, like, up to, like, the last minute before I had to, like, start driving to get to work. It was honestly really fun. I went to the uh, Last Vans Warp Tour at uh, Burgettstown, Pennsylvania. Honestly, such a good fucking time. Um, I told myself I was gonna vlog for like content for the channel, but I decided not to. Here's why. Like, it. Long story short, quite literally, it's my first fucking concert slash festival experience, and I'm like, I don't really want to fucking be recording the entire damn thing. Like, I just wanted to experience it, like, not just record it. And that's just the simple, outright answer, I guess. I'm not gonna be doing clickbaity shit. Uh, so I'm gonna just talk about, like, the whole goddamn diddly experience <laughs> from the night before to the day of, and just, oh boy. Alright, so, night before, my girlfriend Brooke and I, we went to our friend Cody and Kaylee's place just to, like, stay there. Because we had a plan of attack ready like three days beforehand. We had to go down to Kaylee's mom's, get the van, and then start picking up people. And then we had to head out. So it was just a shit show. We ended up getting snacks and like we were kind of confused as what they constituted as a snack. So... We were just like, fuck it, let's bring, like, sandwiches from the deli. I ended up getting, like, a chicken parmesan sandwich and some other shit. Uh, and then we went home, played some Cards Against Humanity, crashed around, like, 12.30. Uh, and that pretty much was the night before. Uh, so the day of, we woke up, we ended up eating breakfast there. Uh, we wanted, like, we contemplated getting on the road as soon as possible, just getting, like, Taco Bell or something. But we were just like, fuck it, let's save our money. And, uh, that, that pretty much leads to the fucking journey. Uh, it was honestly such a good time. Like, I felt a little bit out of place because, like, my emo phase was a little bit different than everyone else's. Like, mine consisted of, like, Linkin Park and whatever my older sister was blaring in the room I'm actually in right now. Uh, back when I was in, like, high school, this was her room. And here we are now. There was like all time low, obviously something that was like a part of the emo years. Uh, a lot of dance, Gavin Dance, just a lot of everything. I somehow knew a lot of the May Day Parade songs. Not like, oh, this is this song by May Day Parade. I'm like, is this by May Day Parade? Because like I just knew by the lead singer dropping locations. Like he mentioned LA, and I'm just like, yeah. Oh wait, there's Ocala, like, mentioned in every emo band. Uh, <laughs> so, we ended up picking up our friends, Nate and Jordan, and we just started driving there. It was honestly such a good time. Like, me and Nate were singing along, it was just amazing. So, we made it to the Key Bank Pavilion, and the wait began. Uh, Jordan had to be like a motherfucker. So she was like, J just keep going. So Cody, the guy who was driving, he's a very safe driver. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to slow down if you want to hop out the car. And it, it was honestly really, really fucking good. Uh, like she just hopped out. She, she thought she was going to fall, but nope, we're good. Uh, we ended up heading down to the box office, getting our stuff. Uh, I almost got like held up at security because i forgot to take my dice out of my dice box that i was gonna get signed but i, I just kind of forgot to sign it so there's that uh but we made it through and our day began we got a plan of attack ready and this leads to the uh shows that we all saw well primarily me and my girlfriend but what we all saw uh we were kind of waiting for like some of the stuff that we wanted to see so we were just like hey let's see some of the smaller acts uh the first act that we went and saw was a uh, australian hardcore band called d's nuts they were really good they're bassist <laughs> but 
Oh my god. <laughs> he was just on point the whole fucking time. Just mm, A1 shit. Um, after that, we kind of just like hung around trying to find the others. Uh, oh, we also saw Crown the Empire. A bit of them beforehand, but uh, Kaylee ended up feeling like not well, so she went to first aid. So we just stayed there in some of the merch tents. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about like the merch that I got like later at the end of the uh video. So let's go with that. Uh, while we were waiting, I heard a little bit of uh Kublai Khan. Oh my god, I didn't really like hear much, but the technicality from what I heard was just mm, so good. I loved it. Um, another band that really, like, grabbed my attention was a, uh, I don't really know what to describe them as, but the name was Sharptooth. They they were all right, but, like, I really liked what they, like, were talking about, because, like, it should be, like, obvious, but, like, this is a safe space for people. Like, if you want to talk about whatever, go for it. Like, just don't be a fucking dick about it. And that's something that they really talked about. They were like, hey, we believe in this. We're going to fight for this. Da, 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 da. Uh, one of the uh, downsides of it is was we kind of got split up. Like it was me and Brooke and then Kaylee and Cody and then our friend Jordan. And we didn't know how the fuck to get to the uh, Journey's right foot stage. And we kind of wanted to see uh, real friends, but we didn't get to see them because we were all lost. But they'll be torn somewhere. Uh after that, we went and saw, I want to say State Champs, and I crowd surfed there. That was the first time I crowd surfed. Oh my god. Like, I've only listened to, like, a little bit of their song Secrets, but they, they did alright. Uh, after that, Mayday Parade was one of the shows that we all wanted to see, and we got to see that. It was honestly really good. We lost track of Kaylee and Cody this time, and we were just like, what the fuck? And, uh, yeah, there's that. Um... We listened to a little bit of a band called Dollskin, and they seemed like a lot like Sister Sin, but more like girl power. Yeah, it was interesting. I liked it. Uh, and then we went to the first group that we, well, that I wanted to see, a uh, real big fish. Just, oh, oh my God. So fucking amazing. They put on such good show. I was down in the pit for that, and it was just amazing. Um, they ended up playing their cover of Take On Me, which I sang along, note for note, screaming, life is okay. Uh, I want to say the song that they played after that was like, I hate your guts or something like that. And my girlfriend's got a girlfriend now. Then they played Beer, which I was really happy to uh, have them play. And then sell out. Just oh my god. It was honestly such a good fucking time. I can't remember who we saw in between there. But uh the next major group of people I wanted to see was uh four years strong. They have honestly been major fucking influence from like senior year of high school to now. I'll be totally honest with that. Uh, they were just amazing. I missed half the set, but eh, it's whatever. I had a really good time. I listened to, uh, like, they played the last little bit of Who Cares when I was there. Then, I want to say, Go Down in History. Say, Must Suck to Be Four Years Strong. Or something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but they ended it with Wasting Time. And I crowd surfed in that. I was in the pit for the majority of when I was there. Like, actively independent, not like standing around, like I was pushing around, having a good time. That's honestly something that I was like really surprised by. There wasn't really like a lot of crowd killing or just like fucking people being in the pit trying to do karate. That just fucking blew me away. Uh, after that, we all wanted to see Falling in Reverse. I didn't really listen to them a lot when I was in high school, but eh, like, I'm, I'm, it's compromised. Like, with a festival like this, you kind of have to be like, yo, I'm willing to see this, you're willing to see this, and so on and so forth. But they put on a really good show. They were running a little bit late. That's actually, I want to say that's actually how I got, like, the gash on my nose right here. Uh, like, there was a lot 
of crowd surfing in pits and such for uh, falling in reverse, and no one really communicated. They didn't really say, like, hey, we got a person, you know, fucking coming up. And I got a lot of shoe to the face. Uh, Kaylee ended up having people, like, dropped on her head. She's okay, though. Like, everyone's okay. Uh, her and Brooke ended up heading out, going to the side. Uh, and I decided to stay with Jordan so, you know, she doesn't die. And it, it was a good time. Like, I was like, yo, I got you. If this pit, like, tries to consume us, I will get us the fuck out of the way. Like, there was a lot of things that happened that I'm not really going to, like, di like disclose. Like, nothing bad, but, like, just a lot of stuff that happened that I really can't fit into, like, a small 9 to 10 minute video. Uh, but they put on a good show. Like, I wish people communicated about the crowd surfing. Someone fell, which kind of sucked, but they, they kept trooping on. Proud of them. Uh... After that, we finished up the night with, uh, bowling for soup, and just, oh my god, they were so fucking good. I, I loved, like, the presence that they put up. They were just like, hello, we are bowling for soup, and we are the greatest band ever. And they were definitely a big part of just my everything. They still kind of fucking are. <laughs> and, uh, it was honestly such a really good time like they ended it up with 1985 and everyone and the crowd was singing along uh this actually leads up to some other experiences that uh happened well primarily one that just will be in the back of my head uh when my girlfriend and i broke we're uh going to like see merch like go to merch tables and such you know like merch tents uh, someone who was African American just walked up to me and said, Hey, can you give me some money because I'm handsome and black? And I was just like, You know what? Fuck it. Sure. Um, I gave him 10 bucks, and then two other African American gentlemen ended up giving me, like, that's the same thing. I gave them both five. It was honestly such a really good time. Uh, this is actually where I'm going to just show off the little bit of merch that I got because why the fuck not? Alrighty, so first off we have some stuff by Vans. Dear God, how I wish that they were uh, sponsoring this video. We have a blue short vault of tour dates, a lovely gray and black hat, snapback. Um, then we go to Real Big Fish with a shirt that says One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Real Big Fish. Great ska band there, by the way. And then we have our Four Years Strong shirt with the psychedelic inspired shirt with a motto to start to take over. And then we go on to the little stuff. I got a wristband by Journeys with a code on the inside that I can use for a discount. And, surprise, surprise, see what I did there, a lucky ska coin. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's pretty much going to be in my little tiny pocket. But when Van says that Warp Tour is quite literally the best day ever, it fucking, well, was, because this was the last Warp Tour. Uh, I spent it with my girlfriend, I spent it with amazing friends, and I couldn't ask for anything else to happen that day. Just, oh my god, I loved it so much i got to see such great bands i spent it with such great people so many wonderful positive memories were formed just <sighs> my heart is full I, I i'm just so giddy thinking about it uh i'm gonna end this video here so if you like the video pretty fucking dope smack the subscribe button it'll make my day right now like my day yeah there we go still learning how to use these hands after 21 years it'll make my day right now and hopefully it'll make yours later on down the road. I'm the Hamseris, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!